Alrighty, so we're about to introduce the fighters for the next fight. Участниц этого поединка в красном углу спортсменка, которая 20 лет, ее рост 170 сантиметров, вес 55 килограммов. На профессиональном ринге провела 11 поединков, одержала 9 побед. Три победы одержанные нокаутом при двух поражениях. Воспитанница клуба Линс Файт Клаб, город Петрозаводск, россиянка Наталья Фриз Ее соперница в синем углу, спортсменка, которая 28 лет, ее рост 170 сантиметров, вес 54 килограмма 900 граммов. На профессиональном ринге провела один поединок при одной победе. Представительница России Анжела Ведете бой по правилам W5. Скрутки, броски за So you guys are going to be able to get to see maybe for the first time for many of you because we are international, obviously. We have like people from Turkey, Germany, America all watching in. This is, uh, look at some of how the women This could be a debut of something big, something big here. Yes. We like this. How the females. Here we go. Let's take it on first round. Let's take the guess out of it. So Angela looks a little bit jittery with her movements. Yeah, she's trying to keep in her distance, trying to... She looks like more she's trying to become a moving target than uh Which isn't a bad, you know, it's not a bad uh, defense. You know, As you see Natalia just sitting there waiting. <laughs> she's, she's just wondering she's, what is going on. She's eyeing the prize, isn't she? <laughs> she's got a smirk on her face, like, oh my god. That smirk just turned into complete anger when she just threw that leg kick. I tell you right now, if she's, she connects, you're going to feel it. You can see it already. Yeah, she's a little... And she's I mean, patient. I, she looks, she's patient, but she also already has a little bit of frustration in her eyes, I mean. Yeah. Oh, Beautiful right right leg kick. Just missed, just missed that uh the left leg swing. Huh. Sorry, I had a nice couple jabs caught onto uh, Natalia's face by Angela. It's nice to see Natalia, you know, Angela moving forward a little bit. Not, you know, she's not really that intimidated, it looks to be. Keeping herself moving, a lot of, a lot of activity, not a lot of punches being thrown, but uh, But you see, like Natalia's, like she, there's like a smirk on her face, like yeah. just like, like this is funny. I mean, Are she's you afraid that just she's just sizing her up? She's got her in the scope, in the crosshairs, and she just wants to she wants to pull that trigger. A couple quick punches by Angela. They both landed. Nothing strong. Nothing to phase uh, Natalia. Now you've been in the boxing world, yeah. Yep. For a long time. I mean, when you have a, a you have a, a boxer that's definitely, I mean, in my opinion, Angela looks like she's she's more trying to avoid Natalia. Right. Which, uh, is, is that does that play a major role with the with the judges? It, it actually depends on on where their what their stature is in the boxing community. If they haven't had a lot of fights, you, know, you, you and you want you're trying to make a name for yourself. It's beautiful, Natalia, right there with a with a nice combination on Angela. It's going to hurt you more than it help you in the early round. Later on, when you've developed a little bit of a name for yourself, some sort of reputation, um, then you can then you can you can have those luxuries. Uh, but still, it's it, nobody likes to see a fight like that. We're just hanging back, moving around. I've, I've seen it numerous times in uh, like very close fights in like a tenth round, where one fighter who is, thinks it's either a tie or is winning will start dancing around and avoid fighting. And the Olympics is obviously mm -hmm. a yeah. big deal. It's a big right. deal. You lose points on this. Right. I mean, it's frowned upon. Right, but it's also, you know, there could be a fatigue factor. He doesn't want to make a mistake, just trying to kill time. Maybe in the back of his mind, he thinks, yeah, I'm ahead on point, so I'm not going to screw up now. I'm going to hang back and take my, uh, take my chances with the card. Nice leg kick to the yeah, knee. That was a great check. Right a nice there. knee kick, yeah. By Natalia. She really liked to follow that up with a nice little left. There we go. Oh, she just, she just missed a, a left-right combination. Just missed. I mean, that right came right over top of Angela's head. From our, from our seats here, that would have been a, would have been a nice shot. <laughs> Clearly. Ten seconds oh, left. Gonna... No, there's a takedown. All right, guys, first round over. I, I, I don't know. I would give it to Natalia just purely on the basis that it looked like Angela was almost trying to avoid her, although Angela was the one that actually instigated a couple of the... Uh, yeah, but the, uh, the, 
I agree, I agree, but uh, but you you gotta give it to the, 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 uh, the Natalia only, mainly because when she did come in, she came in strong and she came in and she made some, she made some serious contact. Yeah, she was the uh, she might not have been the aggressor, she was more of a counter puncher, but her counters were much more yeah much more effective than uh, than Angela's side. But the only aggressive thing that happened was on Angela's side. <laughs> 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 You can see a totally different change in the second round. Alrighty, guys, there you have it. We're about to start the second round. Hopefully, we'll be in a much more exciting second round. Yeah, let's we pick were really propping up this let's fight. Let's pick this up, girls. We were uh, talking about <laughs> the, the excitement of women fights. And, uh, so I don't, far, I don't think Natalia's going to let it last. Well, now she's no, getting She's yeah, getting so excited. She wants to punch. She's coming in. I, yeah, I think her, her, her corner told her to pick up the pick up the yeah. pace a little bit. And now she's. She, and she looks angry now. Yeah, she she's a little angry after the first round. Oh, nice leg to the rib there by Natalia. Yeah, something good's going to happen here. <laughs> She's not going to let this happen for two rounds. Right there, she. And um, Angela's not even really hitting the bars. She's kind of like scrap. Oh, beautiful oh. left to the chin of Angela. Beautiful left to the chin of Angela right there by Natalia. It, was, it, it hit square. It was nice. And for a split second, I think it even stunned her. You tell. She, she wants to. Oh, there we go. Oh, missed again. Strong left. That's the second time she's thrown that right uh, hook over top of the head. She sees, Stephanie sees something in Angela's game that she wants to take advantage of that hasn't, hasn't paid off for her yet, but uh, in, let's see what, in, in time. In that time. must be frustrating for any fighter, though, is when you, throw these, when you throw these punches that are just, like, missing by inches, you know, and just, like, going over top of the head. Because if they would hit, and clearly her gloves are down, Angela's gloves are down, if, they, if she hits her, it, it could be lights out. And such is the fight game, my man. Such is the fight game. And we're gonna let it take down. Another clinch? It wasn't really a takedown. She kind of just seemed to drop to the ground. It's like a little <laughs> drop and roll. <laughs> Something you see at a women's slumber party. Uh, nice leg. Okay. Watch out, Natalia. Don't let your emotions take over on this one. It's almost a scene like a. Uh, from what I've seen here, it seems like Angela's trying to like dance around, throw a couple pops, get back, and almost win by the points without actually having to get into a, uh, you know, a, a boxing match with her, or a fighting well, match. I, because I, I think she misrealized that maybe Natalia's a much harder hitter. Yeah. There's a nice knee kick right there by Natalia. Well, Angela's squirrely nature is making it tough for yeah. Natalia to put any sort of rhythm together. So. But I really think that uh, with the judges is going to be her, her downfall. Even though she's connecting more, I think it's her downfall. It's because her punches have no pop on them. They're very light. Yeah, they're taps. And yeah, they're taps. Yeah. You know, it's just like I'm going to go in, throw a couple punches, connect, get my points, walk back, dance around for a little bit. But she's out there. And that, if that's her game, then that's her game. Let's see what happens here. But I, I, you can already see that. And Natalia's a much more technically sound fighter. Uh, very technically sound, very strong, she's very poised. Her movements are very, you know, let's just say, very specific. At this point, the, at this point in the match, I'm just really frustrated by her. You can tell she, you can see it in her eyes. Nice, nice, combo. There nice there quick combo right there. There were like two, two little uh, jabs at the chin. They both landed. They moved, their, they moved her head. They were nice. They were nice. Not enough force to do any damage, no. but yeah, enough to get her the round. Yeah. So she's, so she's doing, undoubtedly she's two and zero. Oh, she's uh, two rounds to zero on this. She's gonna walk away with this fight, but looks, I'd like to see her walk away with something, uh, something spectacular. I mean, them up, as we all would. I think she's a little frustrated. She hasn't been able to showcase what she can really do. You know, but, uh, you come, you come, you try to work, you come in here, you're ready to go, and uh, you know, the elusive nature of Angela's technique. Uh, Angela's got that elusive nature. Uh, you know, she's got that elusive nature. 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 And that one felt, you know, that was the, the one punch that everybody saw and that you could tell Angela felt it. Yeah, absolutely. And quite honestly, when she went down, I would have surprised her. Okay. That see was the most solid combination you have, but again, she needs a few more of those to uh... All right, final round right now. I'm giving it two rounds to uh, nine. Three, two, three. Right now. That's a pretty safe, safe start there. Oh, beautiful combination, a left, right, left. 
a nice quick combination. She's back. A nice straight leg kick. I'll tell you right now, here's one thing about Ataya. If Angela comes inside, she will not be deprived of her opportunity no, to she, her. <laughs> she gives us a little open, like a little open-handed slap punch to the side of the head, but you know, yeah. she's, 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 trying to, she's trying to look busy. She's definitely an overmatched fighter in this, I gotta tell you. All right, we got a headbutt warning here, which is actually gonna be quite important if that happens. Here. Because I think they're, they're at least close on points. Oh, nice right by uh, Angela. That was the foul that was the nicest punch I've seen her throw all night tonight. Came out of nowhere, but uh, yeah, she'll take it. Oh, great combination by Angela. That was on the chin. Yes, that was, that was a good one. That was nice. So this round so far, I'm going to have to give to Angela. Right now, Angela seems to be dictating this round. She's throwing much stronger punches. Yeah. Which she is looks surprising. Like, looks like a different fire. Like. Yeah. Which is surprising because Natalia actually is a, oh. was very strong in the later. Game. Oh, a beautiful knee to the chin. Hey! You know, the one thing about these fighters is, that, you know, it's going to make or break their careers is the ability to make changes in, the, you know, halfway through a fight, in a three-round fight, you got to make, uh, you got to make adjustments in your corner in between rounds. And it looks like uh, both clearly have. It hasn't really benefited one more than the other up to this point, but uh, you can tell they're both trying something a little bit different coming out in this third I round. I think for Angela, it's a little too late. I, I, give, I give my first two rounds to Natalia. I think Angela's too jittery. She was trying to avoid fighting her. Yeah. Uh, and I give my points to, uh, to Natalia really based on that. Um, and although Angela came out here with a, with a much stronger uh, aggressiveness, right. and her punches had a much better better pop on when they were landing, you know, I still give the fight to Natalia. Yeah, this is uh, so far pretty uneventful. Let's see what they can muster up in this last 30 seconds. Here. One punch can change it all. So there's uh, 26 seconds left in this round. It doesn't look like we're going to end up with anything, uh, any sp spectacular knockout, which is a shame. Yeah. We got a Natalia yeah. going in with like a, a flying, uh, flying whirling oh. dervish there, but that didn't play out. Natalia came in with a flying whirling dervish. We're going to get a flurry now. We're going to get a nice little flurry. Now, I mean, Natalia came in here to fight. Angela clearly avoided her. It played, it clearly played into, uh, I believe it played into Angela's hand. I think Natalia won the fight. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, I think Angela dictated the fight. So. That's the kind of fight. That's the kind of fighting fighter that Natalia never wants to see again. No, I agree. I hope it won't. You know, you train, you come in, you want to fight. Nothing to get you with her. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Angela, yeah, I love the fight. Yeah, she she, she tried to she did what she had what, what she had in her toolbox, but that just, you know, wasn't enough. She was she was clearly outmatched, and she played she just she fought a defensive fight, and uh, no one likes to see a defensive fight. Alrighty, next up, Sergey Bariskin will be taking on Alex Kamal. Господа, у нас есть решение для награждения победительницы. В ринг приглашаются руководитель российского подразделения Green Hill Ольга Сазонова, а также Антон Пыжов, Дмитрий Глазов и Алина Масакова. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I mean, uh, it, uh, it, it's not, it hasn't taken the, uh, a lot of brain power. Superboy, we have not kicked it before. All these fights are hard. Never happens to me in Vegas. Never happens to me in Vegas. Natalia Rizhichkova, Mr. Zavos, Lynch Fight Club. 
that uh, comes to anybody's surprise. I think uh, they were pretty expected, but. Uh, Centimeters. He's 27 years old. He has three fights professionally. Two victories, two by knockout, one loss, 74 kilograms. Uh, he said he's a, loves to hit. He's a hitter. He's a boxer. Extremely strong. The only issue with him is he lacks a lot of experience. Coming up, is, uh, his opponent is a leg. Uh, he's champion of the world as an amateur. He has lots of fights. As an amateur, he had 150 fights. As an amateur, he's got some knowledge on him. Yeah. From Moldova, I guess that has it. That's probably Moldova's only known fighter. He's, he's, he's picking up the slack for all those, you know, for everybody else. That's a lot of fights. But he does train here. He loves to control the match, um, and he loves to attack. I mean, he's really good at knowing when to attack and when not. He's very sound technically. He's only had 15 fights, 13 uh, victories, five by KO, two losses. This is a 75 kilogram fight. Now, uh, just so you guys know, we are you are watching live.w5kick.com. Big shout out to our sponsors, Fox Beer.